Okay, uh, right now we will do the last uh, thing to our truss. We will make the diagonals to it. Uh, yeah, to make diagonals, we have to um, look for a second uh, how uh, we have to operate on the. Um, sorry, not uh, the sphere. I have to type a sphere here. So we want to highlight uh, the points uh, which are uh, on the bottom and the top beam. Um, uh, and this is like that. We say that uh, because we were using endpoint uh, node, endpoint uh, options, uh, we have uh, we are missing uh, one dot uh, one node uh, on the beginning, uh, two nodes uh, in general. Uh, we have to add it. Uh, there is an option to find uh, add uh, item to front um, to the list. So we have the, the list of points and uh, we need the item because uh, we describe it pretty well that we know that this is from the bottom and this is the first one. So right now, if I click uh, on this, you see that this is uh, correct. Uh, all the uh, spheres which we are looking for. These are this and this one. We have to repeat it one more time to the bottom list. So we connect uh, points from the bottom splitting uh, to the lists and uh, we are now looking for the first um, uh, point uh, on the level. Then we just have to change and we see we have all the points on which we will be working. Now, how to make diagonals? To make diagonals, we will use a very um, common use uh, tool, which is uh, cool every, remove uh, or drop every n, uh, I, uh, n uh, item. And we will drop every second item. So we are connecting a list of the bottom uh, nodes and we, you will see that if I change it like uh, to highlight, uh, sorry, because I didn't finish and uh, drop every end time, we, I have to say uh, which every uh, uh, item have to be deleted from the list. I say every second one. And then I see that uh, he throw out every second uh, element in the list. Uh, I will just uh, copy paste it and connect it to the lists and connect to the bottom uh, to the bottom uh, nodes. Uh, and we see that uh, it's not exactly how uh, we would like to be. We have to move it a uh, one. Um, item to the right so to to fulfill the, our assumption uh, our <laughs> need we have to change the offset in the list drop every item uh, let's change it uh, from zero to one and we now see that uh, uh, we have the nodes uh, which are spacing uh, every cell uh, okay, so let's uh, we have the nodes. Let's uh, just connect it with the line by a start uh, endpoint like that, and we have the first bars which we need. The second bars uh, which we need, uh, I will just maybe show you better how it's looking. Yeah. Now it's more visible. We are missing uh, bars uh, on the right side uh, of the uh, nodes. Uh, so my suggestion is to delete this first uh, node from the list on which we are operating and everything seems to be working then fine. So let's uh, cool, uh, remove uh, or just... Uh, yeah, remove uh, item at uh, index. Let's uh, check which uh, from this one. Perfect. And let's uh, remove the first one, which uh, have the index uh, zero. So right now, if I connect and see, yeah, it's like that. So right now, I will just repeat a line by start and endpoint, and 
uh, we see we have uh, another lines. I will just uh, throw out this first to clean the view. I will just call this one trust R1. And this I will call trust bars 2. And uh, yeah, let's see if uh, our algorithm is working on the um, change of the... Yeah, it's working pretty nice. It's... Uh, yeah, even right now with pretty small algorithm, you see there is a, some kind of the lag. Uh, some kind of the, you have to wait for the response of the um, uh, software. The more elements, uh, the more, more geometry it is, the, the lag will be bigger. So then it's uh, pretty common to go for the manual and uh, clicking run after changing the parameters. Because right now, if I change the parameter, nothing will happen. But if I click uh, run right now, you see, uh, the, the structure is much wider. Okay, thank you. The trust generator is ready.